Thursday, September 4th, we have a high of 93 and a low of 70, a 20% chance of precipitation, and it's supposed to be partly cloudy, and it's it's supposed to be okay, pretty hot though, 93, maybe on a cool down inside, air conditioning, all that other stuff. Friday, September 5th, we will have a 40% chance of precipitation, and a 70 as your high, 74 actually, excuse me, and a 57 as your low. Morning showers and thunderstorms, highs in the mid-70s and lows in the upper 50s, and that is Friday, so hopefully the football game will be okay with all that rain that may occur. So uh, this is Mike Van Single for your weather. Thank you. I will be talking about events in history that have happened on any given day. This includes, but is not limited to, famous births, assassinations, major accomplishments, groundbreaking discoveries, and many, many more. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? On September 4th, in the year 476, a group of mercenaries, led by a German barbarian by the name of Odoacer, overthrew the Western Roman Empire, resulting in the fall of the Western Roman Empire. Also on September 4th, in 1886, Geronimo surrendered to the U.S. government, making him the last Native American chief to give in to the United States, resulting in the end of the American Union. I've got another confession to make This week's person of the week was selected by Miss Allender. The student is Michael Kilborn. He's in seventh grade, and Miss Allender says he is doing a great and wonderful job, making good choices, and keeping up on his daily work. He's trying to make the best effort to be a wonderful and productive student this year. Hi, welcome to Current Events, where we talk about things that are current. In world news today, the world's richest man actually built a museum to himself in Mexico City. His name is Carlos Sim. It's full of his private art collection, including the famous piece known as The Thinker. Okay, sounds like that guy's got it made. In geography news, it's the 100th anniversary of the passenger pigeon, which became extinct over 100 years ago. Back in the 1800s, flocks could be up to 1 billion birds wide. Just, just one flock. In science news, the 2015 Farmer's Almanac predicted, using temperature gauges and predictions, a bunch of science stuff, that basically this winter is going to be one of the top ten coldest winters of all time. That's a pretty cool fact. That's all for current events, because we're classy here. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Kara Morgan with your Life Hacks. If you guys want me to do any Life Hacks that you have, but haven't tried them out yet, send them in. You can also put them in Micah's question box. That's where you can also put your advice column questions. The Life Hack today is very simple. You take some balloons with some ribbon on the end, tie the ribbon to a golf tee, stick the golf tee in the ground, and put them wherever you want for a party. Here's a picture. And that's all for your life hacks today. Time to leave your questions and comments. Let's go check it out. Mike Vansicle here. Welcome to the first segment of Ask a Question or a Q&A. Well, let's not waste time, let's get to it. box. There's one piece of paper. Really? I'll answer it anyway. Where did you get this box? Funny story, actually. So, I was actually doing some part-time work for Indiana Jones. I was getting this um, artifact in some cave somewhere, I, I don't really know, but um, so after I got it, I actually, I opened it up, well opened it up, I actually just found, it was just sticking out, so I pulled it out and it was, it was a map, 
and it actually led me to this box. It was actually on top of a mountain. That's where the map led me, so I went on top of this mountain, and that's where I found this box. Um, yeah. Well, hopefully next Thursday I'll have more than one question in the box. Come on, little wise musketeen. It's empty. Write a question, put it in the box. I want to answer it, or a comment, or pretty much anything. I want to do things for my segment. There we are. Hello, and then this is Ivan. And this is Seth with Athlete of the Week. Congratulations to Lauren Hargrave on Athlete of the Week. The reason she was chosen is because she is serving consistently, always working hard, and never lets up and wants to be better. Congratulations, Lauren. Congratulations for the football team for the win against Northeast Goose Lake and a good week of practice. Congratulations to Lucas Nowak for winning Athlete of the Week. The reason he was chosen is because he won the home meet, and at the previous meet, he placed 19th out of 196 runners. Congratulations, Lucas. That one has got talent. Hello, Noah. Hi. Welcome to Alabama's Got Talent. Thank you for having me. Did you realize you were going to be on this segment? No, I didn't. Have you had any dreams about being on this segment? Um, when I was a little kid, this was kind of like my main goal in life, but my parents said it was unrealistic. And they told me to, you know, really follow a goal that I can actually have a career in, but secretly this is what I'm going to do. It's beautiful. Yeah. All right. Let's get the show on the road. Do you have a talent that you can show us today? Yeah, pretty much anything that has to do with sports, like football, basketball, hockey, track. Like, I'm pretty much all pro at every single sport there is. You do video games? Yeah. I'm really good. Are you a singer? No. I, oh, I sing in the car. Can you rap? No. It's equally as bad. Let's go with basketball. Yeah. yeah. Woo! Hey! hey.